Do you want to learn the secret to getting beautiful, amazing women to fall in love with you? You probably hear about these tricks all the time from experts and gurus, and you think to yourself, man, there is no way this trick could work. It is just too good to be true. And I'm here to tell you, you're right. Stick around, because I'm going to explain why these so-called experts are lying to you. And, and at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a top secret technique absolutely free. Okay, okay, sorry. Hey everyone, I'm Harris O'Malley from DrNerdLove.com, and before we get started, I, I'm sorry about the intro, I kind of had to do that, but uh, before we do get started, I want to cover a little bit of site business because I have recently had a influx of new patrons, including a couple of people who've been incredibly generous, and I just want to take this moment to say thank you. Your generosity is part of what makes all of this possible, and... I really can't do this without you, so I really appreciate your support. So, if you follow me on Twitter, like you should, then you may have seen me rant a little bit about some of the e marketing emails I get from various other dating coaches and PUA gurus. This is kind of a hazard of the profession. Sometimes it's because I get emails from people who want me to review, plug their product or their service, um, other times it's because my email has been harvested by bots, and sometimes it's because I legitimately were curious to see what they had going for them. And there are people out there who I think really do have interesting or useful things to say, but 99% of these marketing blasts are all the same thing. This one special technique, this one amazing secret, this thing that's going to turbocharge your game and get you more dates than you know what to do with, and drive women crazy with uncontrollable lust for you. You know, all the usual affiliate marketing stuff. Now, to be fair... I would be remiss if I didn't point out that, yeah, I'm selling products too, but what makes these significant is what they're selling, and it isn't the product. Now, stick with me for a second, because I want to illustrate this with an example of a specific genre of dating guru product that I get advertisements for all the damn time. Mind control. No. For real. These are all the products that promise they're gonna teach you a psychological hack that lets you override their decisions, or I'm gonna teach you this one magic phrase and then she'll be compelled to chase you. Other times it'll be, she will become uncontrollably horny. Going by the volume of emails, there is a really large market of people who apparently watched Jessica Jones and decided that they wanted to be Kilgrave. Cause that's not creepy at all, nah. This isn't terribly surprising, to be perfectly honest. The great-grandfather of the pickup artist community as we currently know it is a man named Ross Jeffries, who came up with what he called Speed Seduction. Speed Seduction is supposedly a series of hypnotic triggers and neuro-linguistic programming modules that, when used correctly, can secretly infiltrate a woman's subconscious and make her uncontrollably aroused. You are getting horny. Very horny. You find me irresistible. You have never wanted a man more than you have wanted me. These are not the droids you are looking for. Now, according to Jeffrey's own hype, if you do this right, you can weave these patterns seamlessly into everyday conversation and slip hypnotic commands into women's subconscious without them ever realizing that you were doing anything at all. In, in practice, not so much. You really just end up coming off like a bad Saturday Night Live sketch about that guy who could only speak in bad sexual innuendo. You may think these ideas come from above you, but really, they come from below me below me. You want to give me a blowjob. Needless to say, it worked about as well as you might think. Although there still are a number of would-be Darren Browns who try to integrate NLP into their pickup game. Now, the one that leapt out at me most recently, and that you may have seen me rant about on Twitter, is the one that calls itself the amygdala hijack. And I'm sorry, amygdala hijack sounds like a bad industrial goth band from the 90s. Yeah, I saw amygdala hijack when they opened for V&V &V Nation at Whitby back in 01. <laughs> They were okay, I guess. The amygdala is part of the limbic system and helps the brain process things like emotional reactions and decision-making. 
Since, according to this, women's amygdalas are so much larger than men's, they are more easily overcome by emotion. So if you can hijack that process, you can make them feel whatever you want and do irresponsible things in the name of trying to sleep with you. Now, the term amygdala hijack was actually coined by Daniel Coleman in his book Emotional Intelligence, Why It Can Matter More Than IQ. And he used it to describe overwhelming emotional responses that were drastically out of proportion to the stimulus that caused them. So when we talk about using the amygdala hijack technique, we're basically talking about triggering a panic attack. Great model to use to try to get someone into bed. Of course, when I ranted about this on Twitter, tons of you responded to me and said that I had to go check this out and report back. So I have, and I'm here to tell you, of course it's all bullshit. The website you get sent to is standard marketing crap. From its artificial scarcity to its compliance ladder, you must follow these rules and watch this video all the way to the end, and claims that this technique is so dangerous that enraged feminists and social justice warriors threaten to bring this site down any minute. So you better pay attention because this could disappear at any moment. And then it demands that you sit through a whole bunch of hashtag that happened stories about how the doctor who came up with this slept with over hundreds of women and how the guy who created this website came to learn about it and then they give you a portion of the technique before demanding that you pony up the cash for the rest. The video also gets bonus points for continually referring to women as sluts and whores and that the doctor who created this technique had his license taken away from him because he kept sleeping with his patients and then eventually ruined his life because he just could not stop banging. And to answer the question that I know a lot of you are probably asking, no. I'm not going to go ahead and break this whole technique down and explain what it's trying to do and how it supposedly works because Jesus Christ, that thing was interminable to go through the first time, and I'm not subjecting you to that. And also, I'm not paying money for this, even if it's to make fun of this shit. Also, as an aside, my dudes, for real. I realize that this all comes because all of you web entrepreneurs read the same marketing book that told you that you had to make sure that people sat through your entire pitch all the way to the end, but I am telling you, in 2017, putting up a video that you can't pause or you can't scrub through is a goddamn war crime. Ultimately though, it doesn't matter what the technique is, because what they're really trying to do is hijack your mind. The person who's getting seduced is you. They're trying to take advantage of your bitterness and resentment and feelings of loss and deprivation and spin them in such a way that you're convinced to give them money to pay for a magic feather that you know damn good and well doesn't work. You may no have noticed in this specific example how this marketer demanded that you agree to these rules and how you had to agree that you were going to watch this all the way to the end to make sure you understood everything and then you were going to promise to use it ethically and not to abuse this power and use it on someone, probably someone who turned you down because it's too dangerous and you could just shatter her by making her want you this badly. They do this because they want you in a compliant mode. If you have to follow these rules, you have to watch this entire video, but they also want to get you into the point of thinking, <laughs> of course I'm going to totally abuse these powers. Are you kidding me? Of course you're going to go and track down that woman who turned you down and make her want to sleep with you because who wouldn't do that, huh? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge say no more. That's the whole goal. First, it's reinforcing your belief that you're a loser. These other people are having amazing porn star sex with hot babes where you're lucky if you're getting five minutes of dry, boring missionary. If you're not just jerking it. Second, you're being cheated, so you may as well cheat. It's not fair that these other people are getting the sex that you deserve. Hell, it's not fair that these women get to tell you that they're not into you. So, you deserve to get a leg up by using this special technique that overrides their will and changes their mind for them. Because, hey, what's a little violation of consent and bodily autonomy between friends? There's a fantastic Sichuan place around the corner. You like Chinese. Come on. The more that they can stoke your feelings of bitterness and loneliness and loss and resentment and combine it with this power fantasy of one simple, almost magical technique that can just make sex rain from the skies, the more they can seduce you into buying their snake oil and then sell your email address to other marketers who will then proceed to do the exact same thing. And the great irony is that buying into these techniques actually makes sex harder to get. Not because magic bullets slow down your growth and progress, 
They do, but because they trade on the idea that women don't like sex and that sex is something that people have to be cajoled or lied to or coerced into. In reality, women have a capacity for arousal and sexual desire that is equal to, if not sometimes greater, than men's. But as I have covered regularly on my site, we live in a culture that treats sex as a commodity and potential sexual partners as opponents. We're taught to see sex as something with winners and with losers. Since society still view since society still views women as only as valuable as the sex they don't have, this creates a lot of pressure not to sleep with someone even though they really want to. On the other hand, men are taught that sex is something that they have to get for as cheaply as possible. By definition, this means that there is a winner and a loser to trying to sleep with someone. And honestly, since nobody wants to be a loser, a lot of people just aren't going to play. Treating sex as something that has to be coerced or cajoled out of someone as this amygdala hijack crap does creates a scenario where men are encouraged to lie to and deceive women in order to gain their consent. This puts everyone in a bad position. Even short-term gains, someone getting laid because they lied, leads to long-term losses as women are taught that even the sex that they may want to have is a bad idea. The pleasurable sharing of intimacy between two people who are really into each other now becomes something dark and painful and to be avoided. And Gentlemen, trust me when I tell you, every woman out there has a story about some guy who lied or coerced her into bed and how horrible that feels. That's part of what you're buying into when you let these people into your head. You're being seduced not only into buying garbage that reinforces your own negative beliefs about yourself, you're actually contributing to a system that makes things worse for everyone. This, this is why in my books, on my site, in my podcast, I am always teaching you how to be a better person and how to connect with people. Learning to be someone that people want to date, that they want to sleep with, that they can trust, and who they know will treat them like a goddamn human being, that doesn't just reward you. That helps create a culture and a society where everybody is happier and healthier and able to find the relationship that they want, whether it's romantic or sexual or both. It may not be one secret trick that came from an ancient tome covered in pseudoscientific gobbledygook. It may not promise you that you'll have the power to hijack minds and psychically arouse women. But then again, you won't need to. Hey, thanks for checking out the latest video. You've probably got an awesome story about how you got someone to go out with you, and I want to hear all about it, so tell your story to me in the comments below. I want to check it out. Meanwhile, if you've dug the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and let me know. And if you've really been digging it, then please consider supporting it by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash drnerdlove. Even $1 a month is a huge help, and it's greatly appreciated. And hey, you want more dating advice? Then you want to check out my books. I've written them. You want to read them. Links to buy them are in the show notes below. Don't forget, you can find me on Twitter at, at drnerdlove and join the Facebook page at facebook.com slash drnerdlove. In the meantime... Hit the Dr. Nerd Love logo to subscribe, check out the other videos I have for you, and then I will be back with you next week with more about love, sex, dating, and being a better man. Later.